<laughs> Hello and welcome to the <laughs> Slingshot Channel. <laughs> yeah, the EK Archery Cobra RX Adder. Uh, it's a great success. It's selling like crazy. The first container with the first 2200 crossbows has been sold out before it even arrived. And the next one is almost already uh, sold out too. Um, why is it so successful? Well, simply because it's a completely new category of a crossbow. I do not usually compare these things to firearms, but if I would, I would say that a normal crossbow is like a cap and ball musket muzzle loader. <laughs> and this is like a repeating pump action gun. <laughs> But of course people want more. People actually want the AR-15 of crossbows. And therefore they're always asking for the same things. Can you do replaceable magazine? Can you feed the magazine from below? All these things. Well, the biggest problem is that the size of the bolts, even though these bolts are rather short, is just too big. So the magazine would actually be just as bulky as the entire setup. And this would make it very, very impractical. But of course, this, these bolts are actually already very short and they don't really have any kind of accuracy disadvantages versus the longer bolts. So maybe we can go shorter. And I'm here today to test this. I will be as surprised as you because I haven't done this before. So uh, I've made a few. Let me show you the short bolts and their features. So this is a 15 inch bolt. Uh, it's already short for a crossbow. A lot of crossbow bolts are 16 inches, sometimes even 20 inches. But this one is used for the Cobra RX single shot version or also known as a cold steel cheap shot. They import it from the same Taiwanese manufacturer. <laughs> and this one is the uh, seven and a half inch uh, adder bolt. As you can see, it's already a lot shorter. It's actually only half the length, yet it has the same kind of accuracy. Well, what if we go shorter? So I made this one. And as you can see, this one is about half the length. It actually is, uh, total length is about 11 and a half centimeters complete, like from, from head to tail. <laughs> and um, of course, as you can see, the veins are shorter. Uh, plus also they are very much at the rear end of it for aerodynamics. Also, they're still front heavy, but believe it or not, these two weigh the same. They have to, because otherwise uh, it would be potentially catastrophic for the crossbow. You can't really shoot a crossbow with ammo that is too light for the draw weight. It would actually, uh, you know, be damaged very seriously. So, so this one actually is made from a much thicker tube. It's also aluminum and not carbon fiber. So this is like half a millimeter of carbon fiber. And this is one millimeter of solid aluminum. This means that both of them weigh about 12 grams with the same tip. And I even made one from solid steel. So this is aluminum and this is steel. Now the steel one is actually really heavy. This one weighs 21 grams, which really is like a full scale crossbow bolt with everything on it. So, um, so it doesn't really mean that if you go short, you don't have to go lightweight. And uh, we were going to test those and see if they're accurate or not. And we will do that from a distance of about 23 meters, which I think that if I can hit the target with these from 23 meters, it's good enough for the purpose. Since these short bolts will definitely completely disappear into the archery mat, never to be found again, I actually have decided to shoot them against a solid plank of wood. It's 15 millimeter particle board. They will definitely penetrate, but not go all the way through, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and I've shot this in from 23 meters with, the, with this one. So since they are lighter or heavier, I guess there will be some deviation. We'll see. Why did I choose this length exactly? Well, because I'm shooting this from the single shot version of the adder, also known on the, under the name RX. And um, the RX actually, if you see here, can't fire any bolts that are shorter than this because otherwise the spring would no longer press down on them. So this is about as short as you can go with any bolt fired in a crossbow like this. In theory, of course, if you would make a magazine for it, it could be even shorter, but let's go from here. Okay, as I said, 23 meters, and we are shooting three bolts each, and we're starting with the regular seven and a half inch bolts.
Okay, now we're going for the aluminum ones, but we will go a little lower because they're lightweight and uh, probably hit a little higher than those. And now the steel ones. And this time we're going to hold over a little bit because they are much heavier than the other bolts. Steel. <laughs> You can even hear that they're taking them longer to reach the target. Let's take a look. Okay, if we look at our target, there's several things that we notice. First of all, one from the aluminum and, and one from the steel arrows isn't even on the target. I don't know where it is and we probably know a little bit more about that after we've reviewed um, the video from the other camera. In, other, in any way, penetration, as you can see, penetration was actually greatest from the two steel ones. They penetrated better than the other ones, of course, because they're heavier. Accuracy, well, the best hit was actually one of the steel ones. So I would say, and of course you could also notice that this one lost a vein. It's always a problem that if you glue on veins by yourself, specifically to anodized aluminum, they tend to not hold very well. So I uh, probably need to uh, kind of sand them down first before I glue it to them. Of course this was definitely a cause for uh, the bolt not being as accurate. So we have to research on this. But other than that, I would say they, you know, they went in ramrod straight and I think that has great potential. I cannot really say that the short bolts are any less accurate than the longer ones. Anyway, isn't that cool penetration? That's a thick board. <laughs> okay, I'm back after analyzing the footage from the other camera. And you can see that actually one of the arrows hit here. And um, it didn't go all the way through. I think it probably lost a part of this uh, fletching too and maybe that is the reason. <coughs> And the other one actually also hit the board, but it hit it here, here. So it went completely into the archery mat and I will probably have to dig it out once this thing is shot out and ready for the garbage. <laughs> so all of the bolts hit the target, I have to say. I'm actually pleased with this. It definitely has potential. Well, look at how compact like eight of them are. I think they're not a little bigger than bullets, but not by far. So a magazine would be perfectly doable. <laughs> so if I find like an electric engine that is powerful enough, maybe with some transmission, so it can cock this back in a reasonable amount of time, and a magazine for 30 or 40 of those, <laughs> replaceable of course, that would be amazing. One of the big advantages of the steel, by the way, and also of the aluminum is that they last a lot longer because it, the metal is a lot more sturdy than the carbon fiber, specifically the steel. Those actually, if you use stainless steel, will probably last you forever, unless you lose them. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? All these uni long arrows to be accurate may be completely wrong. 
I guess if those would be industrially made, so with precision veins and everything on it, they would be just as accurate as longer bolts. And maybe I should also do some longer range tests, but these are short range weapons. These are not crossbows that are made for long, long distances. Uh, in any way, I hope you like this because that's it for today. <laughs> Love that sound. <laughs> Thanks and bye-bye.